The World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship was the first recognized professional wrestling World Heavyweight Championship created in 1905 to identify the best catch as catch can wrestler in the world. The subsequent legacy of the championship is not linear, with the champion being disputed among various promotions until the formation of National Wrestling Alliance in 1948. The last several reigns are recognized by the NWA under the NWA World Heavyweight Championships lineage. As such, the lineage of WWE's World Championship can also be traced back to it. The first recognized World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion was George Hackenschmidt, who officially won the championship on May 4, 1905 by defeating Tom Jenkins in New York City. The championship remained active for the next 51 years, with the last recognized reign being disputed between Luthez and Eduard Carpentier after a match between the two ended in a disqualification. History George Hackenschmidt won a World Championship tournament to become the first champion. Hackenschmidt won several other tournaments in Paris, France, Hamburg, Germany, St. Petersburg, Russia, Elberfeld, Germany, and Berlin, Germany in the same year. He also won the European Greco-Roman Heavyweight Championship title from Tom Cannon on September 4, 1902 in Liverpool, England. He won the recognition of being the World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion on January 30, 1904 in London, England by defeating Ahmed Madrili. Hackenschmidt defeated American heavyweight champion Tom Jenkins on May 4, 1905 in New York City to become the recognized world champion in North America. Frank Gotch won the title from Hackenschmidt on April 3, 1908 and he held the title for five years until his retirement on April 1, 1913. He was the sixth longest reigning world heavyweight champion in history behind Bruno Sammartino, Jim Londos, Luthez, Vern Gagne, who all held their world titles for over seven years, and Bob Backlund, who held his for nearly six years. Joe Stetcher defeated American heavyweight champion Charlie Cutler to become the first widely recognized world heavyweight champion after the retirement of Frank Gotch. On April 15, 1925, Stanislaus ZBYSZKO defeated previous champion Wayne Munn to win the championship. However, Munn continued to be recognized as the world heavyweight champion in Michigan and in Illinois. Ed Lewis defeated Wayne Munn on February 2, 1928 in Michigan City, Indiana for the Michigan, Illinois World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship version. Joe Stetcher then defeated ZBYSZKO to become widely recognized champion. The dispute ended when Lewis defeated Stetcher on February 21, 1928. Gus Sonnenberg won the title from Lewis on January 4, 1929, but the recognition of being the world champion by the wrestling section of the National Boxing Association was withdrawn from Sonnenberg for failing to meet real title contenders. Lewis won the title again on April 13, 1931. Lewis was also our world heavyweight champion in Boston at the time, but lost that title by disqualification to Henry Deglane on May 4, 1931 in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. However, Lewis was still recognized as the world heavyweight wrestling champion in Illinois. Lewis then defeated WLA Deck ZBYSZKO, who was widely considered the world heavyweight wrestling champion, on November 2, 1931, in Chicago, Illinois, ending the dispute. Lewis then continued by winning the New York State Athletic Commission World Heavyweight Championship by defeating Jack Sherry on October 10, 1932 for the vacant title, but lost it to Jim Browning. Dano O'Mahony won the title from Lewis on July 30, 1935. O'Mahony defeated Londos to win the New York State Athletic Commission World title. 
O'Mahony also won the Hour World title by defeating Ed Don George on July 30, 1935 in Boston, Massachusetts to become the undisputed World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. On March 2, 1936, Dick Shikat beat O'Mahony in New York, but the Hour continued to recognize O'Mahony as champion, splintering the undisputed nature of the title once again. Ali Baba won the title on April 25, 1936. Four days later it was announced by the New York Times that Baba would not be recognized as the World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion in New York State by the New York Athletic Commission. However, it was announced that Baba and Shakat would face each other on May 5, 1936 at the Madison Square Garden for the world title. Baba went on to win the bout and thus be recognized as the world heavyweight wrestling champion. Bronco Nagaski won the title on June 29, 1937. Nagaski was recognized as the undisputed world heavyweight wrestling champion by The Ring magazine. Londos won the title again on November 18, 1938 and retired as the World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion on January 28, 1946. Londos wrestled his last match on this date by defeating Lord Albert Mills. Luthers won the title on May 21, 1952. Thez unified three championships to become the undisputed world heavyweight champion in wrestling, the National Wrestling Association World Heavyweight Championship which he won on July 20, 1948 by defeating Bill Longson, the National Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Championship which was awarded to him on November 27, 1949 and the Los Angeles version of the world title the Los Angeles Olympic Auditorium World Heavyweight Championship Championship, which he won on May 21, 1952 by defeating Baron Michelle Leone. Whipper Billy Watson won the title on March 15, 1956 by defeating Thez by countout. Thez won the title back from Watson on November 9, 1956. Eduard Carpentier defeated Lou Thez by disqualification on June 14, 1957 in Chicago, Illinois once Thez could not continue the match due to a back injury. The NWA rules stated that a title could not change on a disqualification and Carpentier awarded the NWA world title back to Thez. Carpentier was still recognized as the world heavyweight champion in Omaha, Nebraska and in Boston, Massachusetts. He was then later recognized as the world heavyweight champion by Worldwide Wrestling Associates in Los Angeles, California. This ended the last time the world heavyweight wrestling championship was unified and to date has never been fully unified again. The Omaha version of the World Heavyweight Championship was later unified with the Hour World Heavyweight Championship. Thez defeated Carpentier in a rematch by disqualification on July 24, 1957 in Montreal, Quebec, Canada for the title. The title was unofficially retired on July 24, 1957 and its lineage continued over to the National Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Championship. Reigns <inaudible> 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 There were a total of 25 reigns and two vacancies. The first recognized World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion was George Hackenschmidt, who officially won the championship on May 4, 1905 by defeating Tom Jenkins in New York City, New York. The championship remained active for the next 51 years with the last recognized reign beginning on November 9, 1956. Ed Lewis holds the record for most reigns as the World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion with four. Lewis also holds the record for most combined days as champion with 3,073 days, while Jim Londos holds the record for longest reign at 2,628 days. 
Stanislaus Zbys Zko holds the record for shortest reign at 45 days and is also the oldest champion, winning at the age of 46 years, 15 days, while Joe Stetcher is the youngest champion, winning at the age of 22 years, 103 days. The final reign was disputed between Ed Lewis and Edouard Carpentier and the latter was in his first and therefore only reign. All matches were held at house shows. Topic: <laughs> List of combined reigns. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Legacy. Various promotions have been home to World Heavyweight Championships with origins that can also be traced back to the World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. <laughs> NWA World Heavyweight Championship The National Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Championship assumed the original World Championship's position as the preeminent wrestling championship, and claimed its lineage. Most of the following championships, all based in North America, arose out of the NWA Championship World Heavyweight Championships in Japan Mexico, and the U.S. Independent Circuit were created ex novo after promotions started. Topic: Our World Heavyweight Championship. The Our World Heavyweight Championship was established in May 1960 after the NWA's Minnesota member territory withdrew from the NWA and established the American Wrestling Association. The first champion was Pat O'Connor, who was recognized upon the AWA's secession from the NWA as O'Connor held the NWA World Heavyweight Championship as well, which he won on January 9, 1959. The creation of the Our World Heavyweight Championship along with the NWA World Heavyweight Championship would pave the way for the creation of many other world championships in other wrestling promotions. The American Wrestling Association and the title became inactive in 1990 and the organization officially closed down in 1991 with the title also being decommissioned. <laughs> WWE Championship The WWE Championship's origin can be traced back to the NWA World Heavyweight Championship after an incident in which the Capital Wrestling Corporation at the time left the NWA to become the World Wide Wrestling Federation this was after the WWWF refused to recognize Luthers as the NWA World Heavyweight Champion after he beat Buddy Rogers in a one fall match. The NWA World Heavyweight Championship title matches usually followed a best of three fall format. Vincent J. McMahon, the WWWF's owner, created the WWWF World Heavyweight Championship and awarded Rogers the championship belt, proclaiming he won it in a Apocryphal tournament in Brazil. Topic WCW World Heavyweight Championship. In WCW, the WCW World Heavyweight Championship's origin is traced back to a match which took place on January 11, 1991, where Ric Flair defeated Sting for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. When WCW pulled out of the NWA in early 1991, Flair was recognized as the first WCW World Heavyweight Champion. 
The WCW International World Heavyweight Championship can be traced back to an incident in WCW's final split with the NWA in 1993, when Flair's NWA World Heavyweight Championship reign continued to be recognized as the WCW International World Heavyweight Championship. The two titles were unified in June 1994. The title was briefly defended in WWF following WWF's purchase of WCW in 2001 before being unified into the WWF Championship and retired. <laughs> ECW World Heavyweight Championship In ECW, the ECW World Heavyweight Championship's origin is attributed to a tournament which was held to crown a new NWA World Heavyweight Champion in 1994 in NWA Eastern Championship Wrestling. On August 27, 1994, Shane Douglas participated and won the tournament and discarded the NWA World Heavyweight Championship proclaiming himself the new Extreme Championship Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. After this event ECW withdrew from the NWA and renamed itself Extreme Championship Wrestling. The title was decommissioned after ECW's bankruptcy in 2001 and subsequent purchase by WWE, then reactivated and competed for on the ECW brand of WWE from 2006 to 2010 when it was retired for the final time. <laughs> WWE's World Heavyweight Championship WWE created a new World Heavyweight Championship following its first brand split, when then WWE undisputed champion Brock Lesnar became exclusive to the SmackDown brand, refusing to face designated number one contender Triple H, who was a member of the Raw brand. Triple H was awarded the newly established title. This championship was a successor to the WCW World Heavyweight Championship, split via the WWE Championship. It was represented by the same big gold belt once used for the WCW and NWA Championships, and was awarded by Raw General Manager Eric Bischoff, the former president of WCW. WWE asserts its legacy extends back to the title created in 1905. Like the original World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship, the title was not prefixed with the name of a promotion, though the physical belt had the WWE logo on it. It would be reunified with the WWE Championship in December 2013. Topic: Impact World Championship. The Impact World Championship of Impact Wrestling, formerly Total Nonstop Action Wrestling (TNA), can also be traced back to the World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. TNA formed in May 2002 and established a partnership with the NWA, allowing TNA control of the NWA World Heavyweight Championship and NWA World Tag Team Championship. On June 19, 2002, TNA crowned the first NWA World Heavyweight Champion under their banner after Ken Shamrock won a gauntlet for the gold match at TNA's first weekly pay-per-view. On May 13, 2007, the NWA severed ties with TNA after the then-current NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Christian Cage, refused to defend the NWA World Heavyweight Championship against wrestlers from other NWA territories. The TNA World Heavyweight Championship was first won by Kurt Angle who won it at the 2007 edition of Sacrifice by defeating Cage and Sting. 
After a series of name changes of the promotion, the title assumed its current name in 2018 while still retaining the lineage from the TNA days. See also Atlantic Athletic Commission World Heavyweight Championship MWA World Heavyweight Championship Kansas City version MWA World Heavyweight Championship Ohio version ROH World Championship IWGP Heavyweight Championship WWE Universal Championship Women's World Championship <laughs>